Hello again. This is a video for social education for LCA. Um, we I hope it will be helpful. I'll just take you through some of the bits we did and then the bits that uh, we're supposed to be currently doing on uh, contemporary issues. So the first big module of social education was called My Community, right? And you have to pick your four best um, key assignments from the key assignments you did to present to um, myself and uh, your, 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 your head and coordinator. Yeah, so uh, just take you through, first of all, the older ones, because I know a few of you were trying to catch up on parts, endings, and that that you didn't get done. Um, so we need to make sure, first of all, we have uh, four definite ones of these done, because now some people are absent, etc. So hopefully this will help. So first of all, I took part Key assignment one, so make sure you label things KA1 for key assignment one, KA2 for key assignment two, et cetera, et cetera, when you're handing it in. And make sure you call these key assignments my community, okay, because that's the title of them. Don't conf confuse them with the next module, which is called Contemporary Issues. Okay, so I took part in a class discussion about our local area in the past, okay. That's quite straightforward. We, we, we already did that. We talked about our, uh, Rush, and we talked about the different histories and what goes on in Rush, et cetera, et cetera. And then we wrote up in our, our booklets. Um, you could even do this for your head, remembering back and typing up a, a document on it, if you haven't done it already, uh, but uh, most of you have typed it up. So just have a look, check over your work, make sure that you have your four uh, organized, ready to go, not in the wrong folders, et cetera. So number two, I, I contributed to three different topics on this issue during the discussion. So. Three different topics just mean three different things on a particular issue. And the issue we're talking about all the time here is my community. So three different topics about uh, issues in the, in, the, in the community. That's uh, an easy enough one to do as well. Um, an even easier one here is I interviewed a senior citizen from my local community. That, so that could be your grandparents. About what, what was life like in the past in Rush? Um, yeah. So... I would suggest to, you have plenty of time now to talk to your grandparents, Zoom them or whatever to call them, get them a ring, write down notes from it, and then type them up. And that's a definite uh, full 100% in it. So there's no reason why um, anyone in the class couldn't uh, have that one done. Okay, so next, next one. I designed and presented a, a simple leaflet about five different organizations providing a service. What that means is we picked five different places in Rush, like say Moores, the community center, library, whatever, and we needed five of them. Some we did it just on the library, but what you need is to do a short paragraph, uh, maybe five lines in each one, on, on a five different organizations in Rush. So that's easy to do. So we need to finish that off. Okay, so have a look, see how many you did, and make sure you've got five. Okay, I plotted a long distance journey by road on a map from my home to another point 100 kilometers away. That's easy to do, just go into Google Maps, get a photograph of what you did, you did and just make sure you can actually plot uh, from your home to 100 kilometers away. And I showed you in class how to do this. Number six, I also showed an alternative route to this point using a different mode of transport. Well, on Google Maps as well, you can change your transport, uh, as I've showed you, from walking to cycling to trains, and you can get a list of the trains and train times. So if you can prove you can do that, get photographs, and upload it onto your G drives, uh, you're away in a hack there as well. I went to my local library and got the names of at least five useful books. That was the one where we went upstairs, and I told you to write down the authors and the names of books upstairs in the section that was about uh, your community, Rush, okay? Now, number eight, I took part in a class survey to plot uh, on a map the litter bins provided by the local authorities, that's Fingal County Council. So what, it, remember we did this as we were walking up to the library uh, visits. So you, may, you wrote down uh, uh, where the bins were on the way there and the way back. That's fine, that's all you need to do, but draw it in a map form and make sure the bins are in the right place. And add to it by putting photographs of those bins or photographs of the streets that you were on. And again, it, it was one or two people, Matthew Wade, et cetera, had them, uh, had some photographs done. So they were willing to share them. So make sure you use that and then bingo, you have another one done. So it shouldn't be any problem at all there getting four of those completely finished and that you're happy and proud of the four that you've, you've had. So look over the four, make sure you have them organized neat and tidy and that they're, 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 done, they're done to, to a, a satisfactory level, yeah? Okay, now moving on to contemporary issues, right? So I'm going to flick screens here now. 
Um, okay, so. When we go into the key assignments checklist on contemporary issues, and again, there's a contemporary issues one, and there's gonna be contemporaries issue two, which is a, a, another module we'll be doing after this one, yeah? Um, but this one, the key assignments you have to do for this one is, one of the key, key A stands for key assignments, must be a group activity, and one must be an out of school activity, right? And remember, we did the library, so you can possibly include that one, we'll have a look here now. So, key assignment one, I took part in a role play, either as a participant or I was just looking at other people doing it and I recorded this kicking, I made an effort. I took down the observations about this situation where the, a denial of a human right was, in other words, when a person that wasn't allowed, say, freedom of speech or someone who wasn't allowed, uh, doesn't have access to a home, um, which is a basic human right. So uh, it's hard to do role play. Uh, we might leave that one for class where we do uh, role plays in class where we can pretend we're maybe in a situation where we're homeless and, and what we can do, uh, what, what the, the ins and outs of that are. Key assignment two then, I informed the class about a human rights issue. Now that's an easy one, you can easily get going on yourself. You basically type up a Google Slides presentation about a human rights issue. The human rights issue can be any issue that humans have around the world, it's pure simple. I've just put down homelessness there, but it could be on anything. Right? There's no really wrong answers there. You just pick something that you, you have passion about that you feel people are, are, are um, not getting the rights met for. And I found uh, some information in newspaper or online, yeah, elsewhere. So that could be online, right? So if you can get an article matching up uh, about homelessness from a newspaper or from a leaflet, any sort of uh, documentation, plus something online. So the more resources, the more places you go to find stuff, the better. Uh, your marks are going to be on that. Again, you've got distinction, merit, uh, et cetera, different grades all the way down. The people who make the most effort basically get the distinctions. It's very easy. I won't be denying anyone uh, getting the distinction if you just show that you're putting in the, 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 the good amount of effort. In other words, good content, not skipping corners and what have you. Okay, so next one then, key assignment three. I created a poster. Here we go. This is easy. Create a big poster. A1 just means a big poster. So you can sell a tape two A4 pages together, right? Or whatever way you want, as long as it's a big poster. And you're promoting um, a human right. So human right might be people have right not to um, be subjected to racism. So um, uh, females have a right to be uh, treated as equals around the world. Where we know in some parts of the world they're not treated as equals. And in some parts of the world, they don't even have a right to education. So you might feel passionate about that. Um, you might feel passionate about something else where you've uh, had a look at different places uh, um, and issues that are happening around the world. And again, the RT News app is a great way of finding out what's going on in the world. If you download that onto your phones and you just look at um, RT News, at least you're not getting fake news then and you're hearing about different rights. It's a perfect time now because the COVID-19, you'll be able to see loads of different problems and people's rights uh, are going to be being denied in different places. So pick one and do a poster about it. Simple. Loads of color, loads of effort, 100% uh, if you have that done. Yeah, so I get going on that. You can easily get going on that from home. Uh, key assignment, uh, next key assignment then is, I explained to my class three things I considered right and three things I considered wrong with regard to a particular issue. Forget about the word contemporary, it's confused, it's just the issue. So one thing that you might um, explain to the class in a presentation, they do Google Slides again, and you're going to explain to the class three things you, you, you thought right and three things you thought wrong with regard to, say, unaffordable housing, uh, rents, um, unemployment, maybe people not getting enough money for social welfare or, or job seekers benefit, single mothers maybe not being looked after enough, uh, and... Uh, Health carers may maybe not get enough childcare for free as this crisis goes on. There's loads of things. You, you obviously pick your own one that you, you have an interest in yourself. Right, the next key assignment here is I contacted an organization outside of school, so it can be a charity organization, and we, I think we've got to start on this in class, whereby you, you find out the email of Troker and Google, just Google it, find out Gold is one of my favorite organizations. I give money to them regularly. They're a great organization, uh, gold.org, right? and gold.com, um, went to both of them, right? Um, 
and have a look and see, find their contact us page and then give them an email and ask them um, about information on the human rights abuses or problems that you feel is a big issue for the world, yeah? And then what you do is you do a report. Remember we did a report before for computers. It was a key assignment four on Microsoft Word. And I've given you the layout for a report two from um, terms of reference, findings, conclusions, recommendations, same idea. So you copy the same headings from that and then just make a report on what uh, information you found from that organization. Again, get information. You'll click on about on the, on the goal website and it'll give you all the information on, on the different uh, human rights issues that are happening in the world. So that'll be great education for you to see what's going on around the world. And also it'll help you decide which one you think is a really important one that you should be promoting as a human being to try and help the world. Yeah. Okay. So again, any questions you, you'll email me on my usual email address. Um, and you'll put these on Google Drive under the correct folder. Make sure it goes under a folder, name it Contemporary Issues 1, and then make sure you name the key assignments that you do. You can pick any four you want. Do them all first, but then your four key ones are your, your best ones are the ones you're going to be sharing with, with, uh, with uh, coordinators here and, and I. Yeah, same with everything, in, uh, with all the, the other presentations we're talking about. So, um, key assignment four, um, yeah, we did that one. Key assignment five, with other members of my class, I organize a survey on the attitudes in our local area about a particular issue. So again, this is one we can't do. Um, it would be difficult to do anyway, during this COVID-19. So we might leave that till maybe next year or when we're back in class, but I'll be doing a survey where we stand outside the spar um, and ask uh, local people in Rush questions about, um, about maybe issues that maybe they're facing themselves, problems, in other words, issues, human issues that are facing in their community uh, that they think is a major problem. Maybe the cost of living, maybe it's very expensive to live in, uh, generally at the moment. Maybe it's a struggle for a lot of families that they can't afford to, to, pay, to pay for the basics, yeah? Okay, so there's your key assignments. Um, I just see here, there's some little edit mistake I need to address, but that's key assignment one, key assignment two, and then there's key assignment three. So that'll mean this one should have been key assignment four. This one should be key assignment five, and then that would make this one key assignment six. Okay, got it? So make sure you call them those correct numbers, please. And again, make sure you're organized, you get marked for organization, being well organized, showing off your computer skills, and also making an effort. Uh, fancier and more creative, and the better your presentation is, it's going to determine whether you end up with a distinction or merit, or pass, etc. Yeah, got it? Okay, so thanks for your attention. Any questions, please email me. Uh, and I'll expand on, on whatever you need help with. Um, stay safe. Bye-bye.